Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the episode of Game Time with the movie man. That's this guy right here. The last left off, we were on Game of Thrones episode one from fa blah, 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 from Iron from Ice. There we go. We'll probably get it right eventually. In any case, we're back playing as Lord Ethan back at House Forester. So, without further ado, resume game. Talking with the Maester. The Maester. But. 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Quite. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. <laughs> he was quite good. He was fair and wise. And courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Indeed. Walking, you cream, son of a whore. Move. What now? Oh. need his judgment. Uh-oh. I've done nothing wrong. This fella? He's only trying to survive. Uh -oh. <laughs> How am I gonna have to act on this? Lord Ethan. You need my judgment. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. We know it's not to be trusted. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He's, uh, he speaks he's truth. right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we'll we survive. Even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. Which is stop You'll hitting address him. him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him oh, I, I want to say wall. Take his fingers. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on oh. me. I can't take fingers, but I can't just let this go un unseen. This is uh, it is this is a crime. Oh. <laughs> I have to do some sort of justice to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! 
the Lord's Judgment, Chapter 5 complete. Justice had to have been done. I didn't have to, I could have been crueler. Your house will remember this judgment. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. He's correct. Not just yourself, of course. It was my duty. We can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Very well. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who would you choose? Because you, you kind of hinted it yourself there, buddy. There are two capable men for the role. Of course. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. I'm in a more How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Appreciate your... Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Very well. I'm thinking of leaning more towards my uncle. He seems not too harsh, but still seems like he's willing to do what must be done. I need someone who's smart and strong. Tower. Into the tower? Oh, he must be at the tower. Alright, I have the bracer. Let's talk to Duncan first. I got a feeling I'm gonna probably have him as my my sentinel. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Ask him about sentinels. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Is Sir Roland worthy? What do you think of Sir Roland? Do you trust him? He's a fine warrior, my lord. But he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed. And at the worst possible time... I can believe that. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. And I'm sure Roland will have the same thing to say about you. Gotta be fair, let's at least hear Roland's... Oh, I can't even talk to you. Malcolm? Oh, Malcolm. I don't even... I don't even think I have talked to you yet at all. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Hello. Ethan. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I have many uncles. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. I mean, was that really mercy? But if you'll excuse me, my lord... I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Where are you going? But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with you. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. <sighs> I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. I believe it. But you know that just as well. I'll be gentle. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. Indeed. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. Oh, is he now? He'd be a fine choice. Why are you so and sure? And I trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. 
Ethan, I need to talk to you. <sighs> that is a difficult choice. A really difficult choice. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Yeah. She always thinks of family above all else. Of course. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. Hopefully. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who? Tell me. What would you do? What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. Decisions, decisions. I suppose the last thing I do is talk to Royland about whether or not he... Uh, geez. Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords! A word? Of course, my lord. Uh, difficult decisions. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. How are our defences? What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. <sighs> Difficult choice. Portcullis. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll let you carry about your... Well, it helps to talk to everybody. Ryan, what's your view? Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much <laughs> left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. Wow. I mean, That's I could deep. never forget. But. Oh, You'd be proud. You know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. Indeed. Huh. <laughs> Someday, I'll have a real one. Yeah. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. Indeed. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. He's Can't not our enemy. What it means? No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. Oh. People who do bad things need to be punished. Damn, kid. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. Well. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. All right. Jeez. Okay. That means I think I'm gonna leave Royland to defenses and all that into his military bit, but for Duncan, I need someone who's gonna not only give me sage advice, but I need someone who's he's still I still believe him to be a strong he can be a warrior. Not too quick to judgment and Oh boy. Screw it, Duncan's gonna be my I've been siding with him so far. He is going Duncan. to be 
I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? <laughs> no. <sighs> yes. Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Oh boy. I just hope that I'm making the right decision in trusting you, Duncan. I won't see why I wouldn't. According to uh, my father, you'd be the man to trust. What's in the tower? Or is that where the council's gonna be? Alright, I'll go talk to Master Ortegrin. Maester? Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. True. What do you mean? It's worth it a lot. It's our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those How who How much do we have? Them. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. <sighs> Interesting theory. Okay, but now... My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. All right. I just hope that I'll make the right decision. I don't know. I feel like it's what I would need. It's, what, it's my gut feeling. Second guessing aside, it's my gut feeling, so. Oh boy. Oh damn, this is a small council. <laughs> it wasn't exaggerating. Oh boy. <sighs> Out of power. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You're both worthy. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one. Yeah, I, I know. Be on I me. know. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Oh. Oh, I hope I'm making the right choice, Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. I hope not. A lord's debut. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Don't panic. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Stop this bickering. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. True. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a that sword. That is true. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Mm. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her Indeed. help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. All right. I trust Mira's judgment. 
What do you recommend? I don't doubt she did everything yeah, what do you recommend? her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain That's with. True. Enough! I'm not gonna bargain. I'm not gonna fight. I think we should use diplomacy. My mother's right. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. Yes. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks I didn't say we wouldn't be ready for one. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. <clears throat> Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well Indeed. then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Oh, yes. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Ramsay Snow is no Lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Wait at the gate, sir. No, I'll invite. If we're going to use diplomacy, we'll invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. I'm sure he could be a bit more negotiable. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. <sighs> you will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel oh, belongs. Oh, I hope this doesn't go badly. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget Of that. course. I don't- I'm not forgetting you, man. There will always be those who question your leadership. Always, of course. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. True. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. Also true. But there are others who can help Indeed. us. Indeed. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. Yes. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger I can fight. agree with you on this. He always protected you and your sister. But you, but you did exile him. Get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. Oh. He has no desire to rule. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Do we, though? You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something you I'm like smarter than that. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Very well. We need all the help we can get. 
I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. I, I can understand that. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send him, yes. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asha back. Very well. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Indeed. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us. Okay. Yet. Whew. Jeez. Political turmoil up the wazoo. I feel like I'm drawing close. Lady Marjorie's chamber, Red Keep, King's Landing. How long is the first episode? Oh. Strange Key, Tyrell Family Seal. I'm not gonna steal it. Tyrell Family Seal. Why would I take anything? Return. Marjorie? Oh. Hello. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Alright. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thanks for offering. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Oh, yeah. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Marjorie? Or is it Margaret? No, Marjorie. No, Margaret. Yeah, Margaret. <clears throat> My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Okay. Is everything okay? Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Right. I'll need this mended. God. Oh. He said I was too easily swayed. Of course he and did. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Of course. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left I'm him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. Figures. <sighs> <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, <sighs> now, we must both be cautious. Great. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Okay. Milady. Well, there you are again. Begging your pardon, Milady. How long have you been there? I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie. Yeah, I don't trust you any further than I could throw you right now. I just want you to know, I I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for How you. How can you help me? How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry, I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Be willing to help you. Uh -huh. Who's coming? 
Oh, Kingsguard. Interesting. 